Today, I'm gonna to be checking out the Salen's foldable green screen, blue screen background. I've got the large version here, which is 150 centimeters by 200 centimeters, and you can hold it up in the vertical position for a single portrait key, or you can go into horizontal mode, so you can actually have two people in an interview scene using this green screen background. What I really love about the product is that it's so easy to set up and fold away. The other great thing about the product is you get both the blue and green screen options. One side is green and the other is blue. So you can choose when you're setting up whether you wanna be shooting against a green backdrop or a blue backdrop, depending on your preference. And that can often be determined by the clothes that you're wearing. So if you're wearing any green, you're better off shooting against a blue background. And if you have any blue items of clothing, you're better off using the green screen. If you're wearing neutral clothing, such as what I'm wearing today, you could go with either the green or blue screen background. So I'm going to take a look at the product by unfolding it. We'll set it up and then I'll quickly perform a key on both the green background and blue background so you can see what it looks like. In terms of lighting, that's often a very important consideration when you are creating green screen backgrounds to make it easier in post-production. But more often than not, we don't have access to enough lighting or available space to set up our lights properly. Ideally, what you'd wanna have is even lighting coming from both sides on the foreground subject matter. So one on the left and one on the right, and you'd like to also light up the background independently of that, and also separate the subject matter from the background by at least one or two meters to avoid shadows and reflections coming back from the screen onto your subjects. So in terms of unfolding the product, all you need to do is take it out of the carry bag that comes with it and then you just pull the sides apart and it should pretty much just unfold itself. And there you get the large screen. There's green on the one side and blue on the other. You can just prop it up against any object behind you, against a wall, for example. But because I don't quite have that in this scene, I'm going to use a light stand, which costs around $30. And again, I'll leave a link to all of these products that I'm recommending in the description box below. And I've also got a clamp, which I purchased on Amazon from Niwa. You get some latches to attach it to a pole. You get one on the top for the vertical and you get two for the horizontal hanging of the green screen. So as you can see, I've set up the green screen. It's not covering the full width of the frame. It stops at about this point, which means that I have to be mindful when I'm moving my hands around that I stay within this uh, section of the frame. If I was to use the horizontal version, I could get a lot wider and go out that far. But basically, you just need to be mindful of how much the green screen is covering in your frame that you've set up. And this will be enough in terms of the vertical and enough width to cover me as I'm talking face to camera. And I've positioned myself about 80 centimeters away, I'll probably get a little bit closer to avoid shadow. There's not too much shadow going on, but even if there is, the green screen feature in most applications now is so advanced that with a little bit of shadow in the background, it's not gonna to be too much of a problem. And essentially you should be getting a key which looks like this. You'll see that I've been able to knock out that green quite effectively by applying the green screen key and then masking around it to completely eliminate all of those extra edges that you see on the frame right now. And this is the resulting green screen key. I'm now gonna flip around the background to the blue screen and we'll try keying that one out. So this is what it looks like when you shoot against the blue background of the Salen's blue screen, green screen portable backdrop. It should pretty much do the same job as the green screen side. In closing, just a couple of quick things you might need to know about the product. First of all, it's very easy to unfold, but a little bit harder when it comes to folding it back up. So I actually found it almost impossible to do this without having to go online and search a few tutorials on how to fold it back together. But thankfully, there are quite a few other creators who have provided that tutorial, and I'll leave a link to some of these great videos in the description box below. Once you do know how to do it, it becomes second nature, and it is actually quite easy to fold it back up and put it back into place, which of course is one of the ideal selling points of this product, because you wanna be able to access it quickly and easily, unfold it, and then put it away when you're not using it. So. Overall, a great product, and as you can see, a very easy 
way to get green screen or blue screen backdrops in a small confined space. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.